um, I, I'm sure most of you actually know, like, in my opinion, or you guys, most of you know HTHT, where I have my wonderful guest, John, and other people who are definitely more eloquent than I am. But for today, this is something that's just me, you know? It's just going to, it's just a, a hurdle that I have to personally overcome. So here's a quick lowdown of what's going on and the reason why I'm streaming right now. I'm really, really tired. No one slept yesterday, including me. And today is like the one time that I decided to stream. Because, because, next Saturday. So you know what, let's, let's go all the way back. So as I'm a big fan of chess. And a lot of people are starting to get into chess as well because of the Queen's Gambit. And if you haven't seen the Queen's Gambit yet, I... I recommend it. I don't think it's the best series ever, but I think it's definitely something that's very interesting, especially if you have never been in chess before. I think that's something that you should definitely watch. Personally, I am someone who is not that great at chess. I don't really play that much, but in the past, I used to play a lot. So I actually have this chessboard right here. So this is the chessboard that I've had since like secondary school. So since like, Sec 1, Sec 2, Sec 3, I think I was still playing. But mainly in Sec 1 and Sec 2, I was playing a lot of chess. So I played chess pretty much like every day. Like during recess, I'll be playing chess. And I know that sounds like a very nerdy thing to most of you guys. But I felt like it was a really, really cool sport. It's a very cool um, board game to play. Very cool game to play. And honestly speaking, I am way better at these types of games than Valorant or or like Call of Duty or anything like that. So I was not a Dota kind of guy. I wasn't a LoL kind of guy. Still am not. But I'm someone that plays quite a bit of chess. But I kind of dropped it off because like uh, I'm not talented at it. I'm pretty... Okay, here's the thing. I'm okay. But considering how much I play, I really shouldn't be as bad as I am. <laughs> and uh, But I am. I'm pretty terrible. I blunder a lot. And I make a lot of mistakes. And... Uh, there are a lot of times in the last week that I've been playing chess that I scream at myself and I hit the mouse really hard playing online chess. But uh, for now, I mean, I just like playing chess a lot. So I was thinking of streaming chess one day and I'll, I mean, I know most of you are not interested in chess, but I was like, look, I think this is something that most people are overlooking. So I hit up the one and only grandmaster of chess in singapore so like he his name is kevin go kevin go Weiming. so he's the actually he's not the only one he's the first one since 1999 he's a seven time national world uh, not world champion seven time national champion and i was like hey i need to stream chess let's you know let's just go straight for the top dude you know let's go straight for the chess grandmaster and in singapore and we were, we were talking a little bit and then we decided that, you know what, there are a lot of things in the works right now. I wouldn't spoil it for you guys. But for now, he actually, he one day he just Facebook messaged me and said like, hey, like there's this chess tournament that's happening next Saturday. Is it next Saturday? Do you know what? I have no idea. I think it's, I think it's next Saturday. Next Saturday, there's a chess tournament. It's a blitz tournament. So it's three minutes with two seconds increment. So basically every time I move, I get extra two seconds of time and I was he was like hey why don't we just play in this game and somehow I decided that it's a good idea and here's the thing like I'm not a guy who thinks a lot before I do things especially when it comes to YouTube and for content I always go like yeah that's a good idea let's do it but I think this is one of those moments where I really should have thought about it because 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 I have not played a single minute of competitive chess not a single minute I have never played anyone competitively i am pretty damn terrible at chess considered how much considering how much i play so and in fact okay for most people who for those people who don't know there's ratings in chess so grandmasters are like 2500 and above to give you guys context of how bad i am in blitz so three minutes is blitz i'm ranked 780 i'm my point is 788 which is equivalent to um probably a primary school kid who just learned that how the pieces move so i'm not that good i'm pretty bad and i was like you know what i have one week 
to get one win. So that's the whole goal of this whole tournament. I'll be streaming the tournament, the tournament by the way. So it's on Saturday. I think if I'm not wrong, it's the 9th from 1.30 to 6. I'll be streaming that tournament the entire time I'll be streaming and you guys can watch me just fail completely and just be bad. But, but here's our group goal. Okay, guys. So our group goal First of all, the goal for I want for you guys is that for those people who have never touched a chess piece or seen a chess board before in your life, to learn a little bit of something. I mean, I know a little bit of chess, so I can teach you the basics. And I think that's more um that's more productive you get than getting a chess grandmaster to teach you the basics. So I'll be teaching you guys the basics a little bit while I'm learning as well. And the whole goal as per this segment series is called Road to One Win. So that is the goal, is to get one win in that tournament on Saturday. If we get one win, that's all we need. That's all I need to have eternal bliss. It's just one win. And I don't think I can get one win. So, I mean, hopefully we do get that. And hopefully we, through this practice, you guys learn a bit more and I learn a bit more. Maybe you can get some guests on the show. I'm trying to get some people like Zula, Zula's layer, or like John Paul or like even the chess grandmaster himself to come on one of these streams and hopefully play some chess but in the meantime if any of you want to play some chess in the chat just text me your chess.com like username and let's play some games uh denzel says borgoff will be disgusted with your plastic board yes yes he would be um but also this this plastic board came from like popular okay so like i was just I was just this. I just decided one day that I want to play chess. I have no idea why, guys. Don't don't ask me why. I personally have no idea why I decided to play chess. But this plastic board was like the one thing I saw in popular. And I decided that to get it. Also because like yes, magnets. So like this things like this thing can like magnetize on the on here, so it doesn't move around. So it's more practical. It's small. I can put it in my school bag. And I've used this so much just to prove that I've used it. And I was I was not like baiting or anything. Like I've lost the pawn. So this pawn is from like some random other piece that like other bot that I have. I have quite a lot of bots. Uh, don't know why. Don't play them anymore. <laughs> but uh, I guess time to dust them off and play a bit. So this is the missing piece. And when we set it up, it looks really stupid because all the white pieces are, all white pawns are like this. And then there's one tall dude here. But yes. So let's get right into it. Not a lot of you guys are here. I mean, of course, I mean, not a lot of people are interested in chess. But I really recommend if you guys want to talk a little bit about... You know what? Even if it's not about chess, you want to ask me questions, this is just a chill session while I'm like trying to up my game a little bit for the next two hours or so. If you have any questions for me, you want to ask me, even if it's not chess related, personal questions, anything you want to see on the channel. Happy New Year, guys, by the way. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot it's New Year. Happy New Year, guys. Hope, hopefully 2021 was, is less of a shit show. And, you know, not holding out hope for that, but like, you know, hopefully it is. And you know what? The question you guys want to answer, I'm quite interested to know what you guys think of the Queen's Gambit. I mean, from someone who is a chess fan before the Queen's Gambit, when I watched the Queen's Gambit, it was... I didn't exactly love the story plot, but I loved the scenes, like the chess scenes, because I knew that it was rooted in some sort of reality. And I, I know the former world champion Gary Kasparov played, um, played a part in the movie, so that's really, really cool. And I just wanted you guys, I just wanted to know if you guys actually love the, ch the Queen's Gambit or what do you guys think about the Queen's Gambit. Wow, I set up the screen. Wait, let me see. So, here is the chess.com screen. So I, 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 I just, I just redeemed a free trial. I'm not uh, that, that loaded, so I, I couldn't actually buy it. So I have a one week free trial, and after that I have to pay for it, I guess. But within that one week, hopefully, we will learn a bit more in chess. And honestly speaking, I'm kind of like a blind leading the blind right now. So let's just give a quick introduction to chess for the people who have not played chess before. And so here is the chessboard. Obviously it's a A, so there's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and 8. So it's 8 by 8. 
64 squares and they are alternate dark and and light squares and basically this little uh, nubbles here <laughs> this little nubbles here we, we call, they are called pawns so um, that's where is they say like oh you're just a pawn in the in the plan that's this this that's the pawns and then there's also the rooks so these castles so uh I know most people know this as the this little thing at the left corner of the screen they are called castles and then there's the horses which are called knights okay wait these are not called castles oh my goodness what am I talking these are called rooks so R O K S uh and this is called knights is the uh, Denzel asked is the chess tournament online it is they are playing on leechess.org uh it's actually organized by the chess grandmaster the Singapore Chess Grandmaster. I think, okay, uh, I have no idea which CC it is, but I think it's in collaboration with another CC. So uh, that's, yeah, it's an online thing and I'll be streaming the whole thing. So I'll be, you know, uh, you'll, you'll just be like this and you'll see me play games and fail very badly. So, okay, so this is the rook, this is the knight, this is called the bishop, the queen, the king, uh, I mean, obviously, the bishop, the knight, the rook. So it's the same for the black side. Exact same thing. So how do they move for the people who don't know? So the pawns, they move dub two. I have no idea what the hell that was. So <laughs> the pawns move up two in the first move. But other than that, they move up one. So like that, one. But they'll eat diagonal. So if there's something else here, let's say this comes in after you... Oh wait, it will come up here, then here, and then you can take it you can take it diagonally. So that's just how it works. How do I clear this? Did I press escape? Huh. The arrows are staying on, guys. I have no idea how to clear it unless someone tells me how to. <laughs> the knight moves in an L shape. So it moves up like this. So it's two squares up and one square to the left or right. Or if the knight is let's say on this on this square right here the d5 square it can go this way as well there you go so it's two down or this way it's up to you it doesn't matter uh the bishop goes diagonally only so okay so here's the thing about the knight the knight can jump over pieces the other pieces can't the knight can jump over pieces for the bishops they go diagonally so it goes this way or this way um basically diagonally and as you can see there's one light square light square bishop and one dark square bishop so what this means is that this dark square bishop will never go to the light square because they have to go diagonally as you can see all the diagonals are the same colors so uh, that will come into tactics later on and then for the light square bishops is same thing oh crap uh, oh my goodness this wait let me let me let me refresh this screen because there's too many arrows on the damn screen Okay, so uh, the light square bishops go diagonally, exact same thing. Uh, this but is only on the light squares, obviously. And the knight jumps over in an L across any piece. So the knight is generally the what we call the sneaky piece because we don't really know. It's kind of like an X factor. Even though the L seems very useless and seems very constrictive, the fact that you can jump over pieces makes it very... Uh, easily hidden and sneaky especially if you are a beginner so the queen is the most powerful piece on the board uh, at least by points so the queen can go in any direction for as long as he wants other than the l so he can go up down left right diagonally as for as far as a piece stops it so he can either take the piece or stop if it's its own piece so in this case the queen obviously can't move because it's being trapped within this system. The only one that can move out right now from this position is the po other pawns and the knights because the knights can jump over pieces. Uh, the queen, yeah, left, up, down, left, right, and uh, diagonally. So, and the king as well. The king can also move in every direction other than the L, but the king can only move in one square. So it can only move one square at a time. And yeah, then the rooks. The rooks can move up down and sideways for as long as the bot stops or as long as the piece is no piece is blocking it 
so it can go uh, in this direction or this direction. But in this case, obviously, it can't because um, there are pieces blocking it. So it's so that's basically how all the pieces move. Uh, the motive of the game is to checkmate the king. So later I'll give you an example and I'll show you an example. We'll play some puzzles to see how to checkmate your king. But basically, uh, a check is basically when a piece is attacking the king. So let's say the bishop, ignore, ignore all these pieces out, this bishop comes to this square. And there's, let's, say, let's say this points up already. So there's a clear line of sight to the king. It's called a check. So your check is on your king. Your king is under check, and you have to either move your king away, or block it, or or eat this piece up. You have to neutralize that threat immediately. So it's a it's a must. You can't you can't wait another turn. There's nothing. So your king safety is the most important, and it's checkmate if you cannot do anything about it. Like there's no way that your king will be safe, and within the next, uh, basically you'll be forever in check. It doesn't matter. And that is when it's a checkmate. And that's when you win. So, but of course, not all games are won by checkmate. Some games are won by resignation. So if you realize that you messed up too much, uh, which is uh, probably going to be me in a week's time, you'll just resign because that is common courtesy. As you've seen in Queen's Gambit, they say, here you resign. And it's just teaching her that there's some things in life they just have to give up. And for the sake of uh, courtesy and for the sake of like uh, generosity you just have to give up and move on and congratulate your opponent so that's resignation but yes that's basically the lowdown on how all the pieces move and here's the thing you can know how the pieces move but you probably won't be very good at the game just as I am not very good at the game because uh, chess is a very tactical game and the that's that's what makes chess I think really really difficult is that it's ultra that oh gosh I cleared the the arrows okay so it's ultra tactical so uh I won't get really into the tactics for now but I roughly know a few tactics here and there and hopefully actually is my audio very off let's let's try to make my audio back sync I think my audio is more in sync now. My audio was a bit off just now. I'm so sorry, guys. So, uh, right now, we're just going to play a puzzle because I heard it's the best way to figure out how to learn. Oh my god, it's, go it's back to bed. I don't... Uh, guys, the audio just goes off and off. On and off sync. I'm so sorry, guys. Please let me know if it's off sync. But yes... Thank you guys, 11 of you who are watching right now. Happy New Year, guys, by the way. Um, thank you for entertaining me as I try to be somewhat decent at this game. If you guys want to play me, drop your chess.com username in the chat and I will let's play a game of chess because I just, here's the, the whole point of this stream and for the next few streams and for even for the tournament stream is to, is to get people a bit more interested in chess and hopefully you guys are a bit more interested. Play black and use a chess app and copy the bot moves 200 IQ. Then so that is cheating. And I have integrity. So we will not be doing that. Instead, if we lose, we lose. And we will instead uh, try our best to win this game. The right way, which is grinding. So, uh... So here's our some puzzles. So let's go train with 150,000 puzzles. So this chess.com, you, you can go down and learn by yourself. So I'm rating 1,069 right now on the on puzzles. So right now they say black to move. So you have to try to... So in this case, you have to try to checkmate black. Oh boy. Black to move? Huh. Huh. I'm screwed, guys. 
<laughs> I'm lost at the first puzzle. Wait a minute. Okay, 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 okay. Come down. Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. There's also hints, but let's not let's not let's not let's not have hints. Okay, okay, wait. Uh I'm covering the board a little bit. Let's let's resize this. Okay. I don't think it's checkmate. I think it's just try to find the best move. Okay, my queen is not in danger. So the knight and queen are both obviously attacking this bishop square, but this uh rook is also defending the bishop. If the rook wasn't here, my queen comes down and is checkmate immediately because my rook is protecting the queen on this on this on this uh box. So the queen will be here, it will check the king because he's in danger, and the king cannot take it because my my knight is protecting it. And my the king cannot move anywhere, so let's checkmate. However, the rook is here, so it is very annoying. So right now we're just trying to find a way to do the best move. So I'm very tempted to move play this move, but of course the rook is just gonna take it. But it puts the king in check and threatens this you can threaten the queen on this side. But obviously that's not the right move. <sighs> oh god, wait, 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 wait. <sighs> do I just take it? If I take, I take. No, I don't. I can't take it. Huh. See, I can't move this knight anywhere because it is done. If I move it here and then rook takes. I can't move it down because there's no more knight to protect it. So... This knight kind of has to stay here. I can't move it here because the bishop is attacking. I can't move it here because the king will just take it. Should we give for him, guys? <laughs> oh god. This is so embarrassing. I'm on stream. The one time I'm on stream and I'm playing chess on stream and I'm blanking out right now. Uh... Oh, what am I doing? The knight can come here, threaten the king. If the bishop takes, I take. I think that's still pretty good. I think that's a pretty good move. There you go. The bishop won't take. And then we can... We can take the rook and check it. And that's, that's not mid, but that's a pretty good start. Oh god. Oh god guys, I am, that was the most stressful puzzle I've ever solved in my life. <laughs> Alright, let's read some comments. Um, There's a knight if the king takes the queen. Oh wait, hi Jolly, Uh, what's up? Happy New Year everyone. 11 people who are on the chat. This is like significantly lesser than the, the IMO live stream, but still very very grateful. Thank you guys for taking the time off on your wonderful new year. Hopefully the New Year's are better for you. And let's move on to the next puzzle. Because... Okay. So the pawn... There's a past pawn here. So the past pawn is basically when the pawn... If I'm not wrong, okay? Any chess experts, please let me know. Is when the pawn uh, crosses the, di the, the line, the middle line here. So it's when... When the pawn reaches the end, is when it will, can promote to any piece it wants. So it can promote to a queen, you can promote to a knight. Anything it wants. You can promote the bishop, but most people just promote to a queen because... That's the most powerful piece. So right now, as you can see, this rook is basically cutting off all access my king to any this side. So this is basically a race right now to the end. But I do have a rook here. So if it comes down here, I can just zap out here to I can just swing out across. Um but what's the best move though? I mean, I can try to take the rook. The rook can... I can try to take the rook and maybe try to... This piece... This piece looks dangerous, so I would maybe try to move my king. Oh god! See, this is what, you go, what happens when you get it wrong. It's just, they'll tell you it's wrong and your rating decreases. Basically saying that you suck and you should do better. So you shouldn't move the king. 
I thought that would be the best though. If I move my king up here, maybe here, maybe here, if I move my king here and I check, moves out, I can promote. Oh, but it's not protected, huh? Uh, why won't it be here though? If I, this is a checkmate. Hey, no, that's not. Yeah, if I move a king here and I check, that's checkmate. But I mean, they can just do this and that's easy. And that's three turns. So by then, oh, so okay. So a lot of part of chess is uh, calculation as well. So if I move here, one, two, uh, three, by the time to, it's a bit iffy. Like this guy could have been promoted and that's it. So we we can't move this rook because this rook is, is threatening this pawn and this, this rook is also protecting this pawn. What else am I supposed to do though? Am I supposed to go after this rook? What? Do I just check? Check and swing across. Do I just sacrifice this? Okay, let's let's give a hint. So it's a rook. Okay. So I suspect we just check, swing across, and take this pawn. There you go. Swing across. Oh. Huh. Here? Oh, okay, for the 10 people here, I'm so sorry, I won't be, I, I don't know how to commentate over chess and I'm very, very bad. So if you guys have any moves that you guys want me to try or any moves that you think are cool. Oh, wait, I see it. There you go. So this is what we call like a, 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 a pin. I don't know what is a pin, but basically if my rook comes out here, the king has to move away and this, this rook is gone. And... When that rook is gone, the these pawns are basically in grave danger, and I have one pawn here, and we can just promote to the heavens. So we can just check, move, and take this rook. So that is how it's supposed to be done. It took me a while, but you know what? We got there. I am not. It's called a skewer. Yeah. So for the people who didn't see that, let me explain. So in this case. In this puzzle, you have the rook down to a1, and then you'll check, and this uh, king took the pawn, because it's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much the only thing you can do, if not, you is checkmate soon. So it took the pawn, the the rook came in, check, and because the king and the, and the rook are in the same line, as you can clearly see, if I check and the king has to move away, any direction it goes, it doesn't really matter. I'll just take the rook. So that's why it moved away. I take the rook. And from here, it's just chipping away at these pawns and trying to promote this pawn up to over here to try to checkmate the king. Or if by now, they'll probably resign so that I don't have to calculate anything. <laughs> so let's go on to the next puzzle. So puzzles are a very fun way of learning chess because you don't have to play through the openings, you don't have to play through the, end, the, the, the middle games. I mean, this is the middle game, there's also the end game, which is what you saw just now. So you don't have to play through a lot of things, it's just trying to uh, think about what to do. And from there, you uh, improve your chess quite considerably. So the only problem is that I didn't have the, I didn't, I didn't redeem the free trial, so I had a limited number of puzzles. So this is me just trying to learn how to do these puzzles along with me. So, mm. so the, the bishop just moved from uh, f5 to d3, trying to trying to attack the rook at, on f1. Um, hmm. White to move, okay. Huh. I mean, I can play this. I can play this, but it doesn't make sense because if I play this, it's just gonna take my bishop for free, and I have got nothing protecting this square, so it doesn't matter. If I play this, it can just take, and my knight will take. But it will just, it will rather just take my rook, because 
the rook is worth more than the bishop. So, and anyways, once again, uh, thank you guys seven people for watching right now. Uh, I know there's not a lot of people, but I am still really, really grateful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy New Year to everyone. And um, for the people who just joined us, the whole premise of this is that I'm, ha I'm having a chess tournament in one week and I need to train for it. And right now, I'm just trying to do my best to not be a complete disaster and embarrassment in that chess tournament, which I'll be streaming in the next week. So do join me if you guys are free. What time is it, guys? It's 8.30. Okay. What will I do? Should I save this rook? I probably should, right? But I have a feeling that I'm not supposed to save the rook. Is there another way? I can threaten... Oh, okay, so if it takes the rook, I can technically take it, but that's not very ideal. The queen is more important, so you wouldn't want to uh, try to attack the bishop with the queen. This rook, the only place it's going is like here, unless I let it take. So I move. By the way, guys, if uh, you can see me play chess, but if you want to ask me any questions, like personal questions, IMO related questions, any questions about TSL or anything, just go ahead and ask me. This is just a fun stream. Go ahead and ask me any questions you guys want. I'll just be playing chess in the background so you guys can keep me company and think along with me. What is the best move for white here? I mean, honestly, if I were in a competition, I would just do this but of course it's not right let's look at the hint the pawn so okay so i thought about this i thought about this the pawn will take this which threatens the knight or threatens here so if it takes i can just take hmm actually i'll probably take here because your rook cannot take this because my my queen is protecting it and that's a good sign then i can take it but if i take the knight okay let's see what happens wait what oh he wants me to go up here why oh it's the oh it's the threaten the queen oh my god i don't deserve to be playing a chess tournament how did I not see that? Okay, so they want us to come up here. So you can take the rook for all you want, but you're giving up your queen. And I'm forking you. So, okay, so that sounds like a bad word. But forking is basically you have to choose between one piece or the other. So in this case, if the... In this case, there's no way to get rid of this pawn because there's nothing that can take the pawn other than the queen. But if you take the queen, this pawn takes the queen. So if you come up here, you kind of have to choose between your queen or your, or your uh, knight. So this is what we call like oh uh, well not we but like that's what I heard as like uh threat like basically if they're threatening something one way is to get rid of the threat by moving away or you can deal a equal or more uh important threat to them as well so you can move up here it moves away I probably want to take on here so that I can fuck it again and try to take away one of the rooks there you go uh. I am now currently unrated because that is how bad I am. Target time is 10 seconds. A player of your rating must solve this time in in this time or less score 100%. What in the world? They only solve this in 10 seconds. Oh gosh. Okay, do you know what? Let's let's move on. Black to move. Okay, my first instinct is to go here. It will come up here. I'll go here. I think it's right. Oh, what the heck? Oh, wait, what am I doing? Okay, so... I tried to be too fancy with it. I was trying to, I was trying, I was trying to win the, the queen. 
Now I guess that wasn't very important. So if I check the so they always say look for checks when you're playing chess. So in this case when I check the king move to uh, f2. So okay when I say f2 we just look at it. So this f2 I mean you guys can read boxes so f2 there you go. So f2 of course the rook is threatening the queen. So uh, you can either move the queen away or give another check so that your rook cannot take the queen. But in this case the best was the queen takes it and I think that's mid actually. Yeah that's mid because he can't move here. He can't take it because rook is protecting it. He can't move here because the rook will take it. He can't move here because yeah he can't move anywhere. It's basically screwed. So that is mid. That's, that's an example of checkmate. Okay, I would take with this. It's probably gonna take with this. I'll take with this check and I'll win this, this, this rook. So basically, what I'm planning is take this, take this, this check. And there's nothing that's protecting this piece anymore, and I'll just take the rook. There you go. So what happened there? Of course, you just look for checks. So let's 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 go back to it. So, uh, basically, in this case, a lot of people will just want to try to take this and try to take this. But obviously, you want to look for checks and you want to force them to move a certain way so that you can see and plan ahead and what moves you guys want. So in this case, what I saw was that okay, uh, this this ob this obviously is lining up for a check on the king so it's obviously threatening the king right now so this bishop uh, this bishop this knight right here if i take it uh it's threatening the queen so either the queen moves the hell away uh which is very weird because you just gave me a knight so to get back your knight the only way is to take it with your pawn or the queen can move it away because if the person sees it ahead of time so Wait, what am I doing? So the first move was the knight move out. My knight takes the knight, threatening the queen. And then the pawn will neutralize that attack on the queen. And then from there, I check. So the king has to move. You can do this. In fact, I'll probably I'll probably if I were them, I'll probably do this so that I can protect the the rook on this side. Which I think is what they did. Did they do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, it ends. So, in this case, uh, if you use your queen to protect, I will just take it, and you cannot take back my bishop because there's nothing trying to protect this, 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 this uh, this square, the a, the a one square. So, uh, if you move here, on the other hand, you tr you obviously block the attack between the bishop and the, and the king at the same time because you move out this queen is protecting this rook so if i take it which i will it doesn't stop the fact that this rook is gone is gonzo washington right now this rook is dead it's just hold a funeral for it right now uh i'll still take it but at least the queen can take it back you know you earn back a piece so basically i'll be trading a knight and a bishop for a knight and a rook which sounds good to me Let's move on to the next puzzle. Fight to move. I mean, I'll just move up, really. Oh, what? Oh, because the, the bishop will just come here and protect this square. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I have, a, I have a rook here. No one told me there's a rook here. Okay. Where do I... Okay, I'll give a check. Force it to take. No, you can't take. So I give a check. You don't move one side or the other. 
Wait, is it checkmate? Oh no, wait, the oh my god, the bishop is protecting that square. I can give a check here. Oh, there you go. See, this is the same line. So uh, I need to learn this. So looking out for the king and the rook or anything within the same line. So generally, you wouldn't want to put your king and your rook and your queen, whatever, or any valuable piece in the same line. Because especially if it's like this case where your king is not in the corner or anything. So you're, I, I'm quite sure this is the right move. Okay. Uh, what? Oh. I mean, that will just take it. There you go. I'm making a lot of mistakes, guys, as you guys can clearly see. But that's fine. Hi, Dago! Secret lab. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I got a secret lab. Um, it's very comfortable. I was not sponsored. Oh my god, I'm wearing a blanket. It's really, really, really hot right now. So, yeah. I'm not sponsored. It's a very comfortable chair. Uh, I would recommend it highly if you have a bit of money to spend on it. So, in this case, the rook takes the pawn. I I check the king. Daryl asks, how's the new house, man? Uh, it's good, man. Uh, are you supposed to come over one day? I forgot. Not a lot of people have been coming over, to be honest. Hey, Dago, do you want to play chess? Tell me if you want to play chess. We can play chess together. But anyways, uh, so I, I threatened the attack on the king. This thing obviously moves up. Uh, I can just move up here because, because it can't take. So I didn't see it. You can't take because the pawn... Oh, crap. Because the pawn is protecting the rook. So uh, it took the rook in the end. I took the pawn in the end and I just take the rook and then it's waiting for white. Yeah, because it only has one bishop, and the bishop is on the light square. So if I play my pieces in the dark square, it's essentially not going to get attacked by this light square bishop. Okay, let's move on. My 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 puzzle rating is like decreasing slowly but surely. Quite to move. I mean, I'll play this and threaten the king, the queen. If my bishop comes out to d3 and threaten the queen, it's protected by this queen on d1. Oh god! Okay, why? If I take, if you take, or oh, you can come down here. Oof, if this thing comes down here, I'm screwed. Okay, okay. Let's do it again. Obviously the king here is quite vulnerable because this these two these two squares are very vulnerable for the king. It's not being protected by anything but the but the king only. So if you target these two squares, you'll be in pretty good shape. So this bishop is a bit off, but that's fine. If I bring my, if I bring my queen out here, no. Let's get a hint. A bishop. Yeah, that's what I did. Jeez. Or do you want me to go all the way here? No, that's not possible because the pawn will just take it. Here? Huh. Why would it be there? I moved it here again and it's wrong, right? Oh my goodness. It's wrong, okay. Bishop move. Hi, I am a hi hi I'm a noob. I'm so sorry. What are you supposed to solve in these puzzles? So these puzzles are basically just uh what's the best move for your the the colour that you are in. So they give you a scenario and you're trying to see patterns. Oh it's a skewer, there's a skewer. Where? Oh god! Oh shoot! Thanks! 
There you go. Okay, so... Hey! You're not a noob. Your bishop can move in two directions. Thanks, man. <laughs> I just completely missed it. I completely missed this. So, basically what? It's the same... Uh... It's the same as the, the skewer thing that you guys are talking a little bit. Thank you. Hi, I'm a noob. Thanks for uh, giving me that advice. You're probably pretty good at chess. I'm so sorry. So uh, basically, if you move it here, the queen can't move away because if you it's under check, you, you'll be basically it's illegal to move it away. So your queen is stuck there. So it's, it either just takes it like a man or comes and takes the bishop and then I can take it with the rook. So that's what happens. I'm like the least qualified person to teach chess. So you guys can just <laughs> cut along with the right. I mean, going forward from here, I mean, there's obviously still this attack. I can just retreat, I guess. You probably move up and all that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, in this case, I'll just look for a check, to be honest. That's my instinct, but it will let the king escape. So the whole point of this rook is to let it, to keep the king on this rank. Huh. 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 This is tough. <sighs> Very bad puzzles. I'm just like starting to sink in that maybe this is not for me. <laughs> okay, so the, the rook is on the light square, light square. So it's definitely a skewer. Can't move here. My instinct is to check, but you just let the, the, I don't know, it looks wrong. What's the follow up to that if I just check and it moves up here? And you move up here, you just go back. There's no rhyme or reason to doing that. That's the only move that I see. So I check. I can't go there because you'll just take it. Oh shit! There you go. <laughs> for the 13 people watching, I'm so sorry guys for this very amateur hour. This if you want to know how if you are a really good player to begin with, uh you if you are a very very good player to begin with. Uh, this stream is not going to do you any good because I am a very bad player. I'm like a thousand plus. Okay, not say very bad, but I'm like a thousand plus. So like, there's really nothing much that I can teach you. But for the people who are just learning chess, I think this is a very good mental exercise to do with me and as I try to prepare for this tournament. So what happened was that this rook threatened this uh, bishop. So a lot of people just try to run away, but uh, it'll just take the pawn. So that's not very ideal. And once he takes the pawn, this is basically just um, happy-go-lucky free city, I guess. So we don't want to give up too much pawn, too many pawns, especially in the end game. So uh, in this case, when I looked, I was looking for a check so that it forced the king to go up here because this bishop is covering this whole lane. So it can't go here. It can only go here. So it can only go here. I just didn't see that my rook can come out here and you'll be protected by the bishop. Yeah, it's not checkmate or anything, but it will get me out of this uh, sticky situation, I guess. Okay, this is another one that I'm like very tempted to just check. Check it moves here. Damn, damn screwed. If my if my knight was here, it would have been a fork. 
No, it's not. I can't move down here because this this knight is just gonna absolutely obliterate me. So this 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 rook kind of just can't go anywhere. I'll just if I give a check. I guess I can take this pawn. Oh, I can't. Okay, wait. Yeah, it can go here. It probably will go. Oh, wait. There's a there's a pawn here. So I'm being protected. So I can just do this. No, I can't. The rook is protecting it. Do you know what? I think checks. Oh, it's not. I mean, I can just push my pawn, right? Check. No, oh, this is weird. I'll just do this. <gasps> Hi, I'm Noob. It's just uh, basically um, spoiling all the answers right now. Thank you so much for joining the stream. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I know this is frustrating for someone who actually knows how to play chess. But yeah, I think I got the right idea. I just need to be more... I need to be more uh, aware of my pieces because I, I genuinely did not think that my pawn existed here it's just empty to me so when i see this i just ignore this pawn completely so if i come here oh shit if i come here obviously it can't take it can't go here it can only it can't even go these two routes because the knights are protecting it so uh it's checkmate is it checkmate it's checkmate because it's protecting it I mean, I'll just, oh, I would have done this and it would be like a, like a normal ladder checkmate, but life is not that simple. The queen is protecting this, this square and this square as well. I mean, so are the rooks and the bishops. If I take the bishop takes, that's not good for me. I mean, I can go down here. Is that the right move? Yeah, let's take. Let's check me. Okay. Good luck for the tournament. Ha ha ha. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I I I really hope that I don't completely embarrass myself. Um, but I'm very prepared to embarrass myself completely. Hey, if anyone once again, if anyone wants to play chess, go ahead. You got the right idea. It's just another piece. Yeah, so uh, I always take a while. Okay, this is why I don't do well in Blitz. Because my instincts don't always betray me. So my instinct right here, when you do this, wait. My instinct right here is just to push this rook. And under time pressure, because this is kind of like the end game, I will probably play this and not see that there's the bishop attacking this. Or I'll probably play something stupid like this shit or like this shit and not see that there are many things protecting it. So it will take me a while to see that that hey, there's just this move and if the queen comes here, let's take it and it's checkmate. So it's it's just something that I need to learn and I guess that's something that you guys are along with the bride with me for. What's this? Black the move move if I take this it's a check and then you have to be forced there no but the but the knight is protecting it see this is see guys this is why this is why I cannot play blitz because when I see when I see this I just like yo this this pawn is hanging but it's obviously not hanging because the knight is protecting it My instinct is to play this and if it moves the but it can move up and just take my queen so that doesn't seem right. I can't take this pawn. I can't take that. I mean I can attack this pawn I guess but I'm looking for a check.
I guess if I do this. No, but the queen is protecting this. <sighs> Bishop move. But, huh? I mean, I can take that. And like, sack, sack the bishop. Should I sack the bishop? How do you see this so fast? I, I can't see it at all. I mean, this is what I... This is my instinct. But I'm pretty sure it's wrong. Let's try. See, there you go. See? Unless I move this bishop. No. 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 This is a weird move because if the, the knight can just takes it. Take, I take. Check. No, the knight is still here. <laughs> is this bishop? Okay, 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 okay. It's not, it's definitely not this. We just tried it. No, no, no. Why would it move here? It won't move there. If I move it here, what's the point? It just takes it. Yeah, there's no point. If I move it here, it just takes. Take, just takes. If I move it all the way here, it takes. There's no point in that. I just move it. Just I just take the pawn. Should I just take the pawn? Sack the bishop. It is not always checkmate. Yeah, it's not. Uh, but I'm I'm having a very hard time trying to figure out what's the best move. Kim Joshua asks, "Hey, Alas, is this your new house? It is. It is my new house. Uh, I'm in my room right now. Um, I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's just that's my bed. I have a nice sofa here, so I'm happy with it." It's not always checkmates, I know, but I mean, I can do that and try to threaten that bishop and try to threaten this queen at the same time and try to force a trade. But is it is that what they want? No. I'm so confused. Oh, it's really just take. Oh, why? Why would you just take? Wait a minute. The queen was hanging. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So I forgot that if I move this bishop here. So... If I move the bishop to, to h2, it forces the king to move in any direction. So it doesn't matter what the hell it does. If it takes, if it takes, that's fine. But the queen is gone. Oh shit, man. Okay. Will your IMO, will IMO be here? No, it's not. It won't be here. Um, I have an, uh, like a guest room that we normally shoot at. So that's where IMO will be. It'll still be in the same place. In fact, it's the exact same setup. We just copy and pasted the same setup. Uh, your room looks very big. Just call me. Josh will do. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, Josh. Uh, looks very big. Yeah. Um, it's not. It's not me. I didn't do anything. Uh, my parents work very hard for this. So, uh, as much as I would like to say that, I, that, as much as I I like to say that is my hard work is definitely one hundred percent not my hard work. So you know. Okay, as you guys can clearly see, my rating right now is dropping like a hot potato because I am a noob-ass chess player. But anyways, I don't know and I don't know how to play chess. See, look, Joshua, that is fine. So this 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 stream is really for the beginners and everything. Uh, it's just it's really just for the beginners and uh, because I'm I will consider myself a beginner, so I take some time to see these things. And as a beginner, you guys can come along and learn it with me as well. Uh, Denzel asks, how many basements do you have in the new house? Uh, I, I, 
I I won't, I don't have a basement in the new house. <laughs> I don't have a basement in the new house, so there won't be any uh, internet problems. In fact, the internet is like solidos now. Hopefully, let me drink some water. Hang on a minute. Thank you guys for coming on. Uh, happy New Year to everyone who is new. So the, for the people who are new. The the premise is that I have been I just signed up for a chess tournament, thanks to uh the wonderful chess grand Singapore chess grandmaster Kevin Go, and he asked me to hey why don't we just come and have fun and play a online chess tournament and I decided it's a good idea but at the same time I decided that I should probably try my best to not be, a, complete, pain in the ass and like a complete embarrassment so I. I'm just having this stream as more of a trying to encourage people to get out of their comfort zone and try to learn chess because I'm also getting out of my comfort zone and playing against people who are actually good chess players. So let's go on to the next puzzle. Huh. Is it on a dark square? Okay, my instinct is to do this. If it takes, I take. No. If my is to go here, if it takes, I take. You just move back, and I move back, and I. But if I come here and it moves away, this. This is essentially a free rook. Ha! If I take this, it takes here. Yeah. If I take this, it has. To, I'm forcing them to take this, and I'll just take this, and I'll move here, and threaten this rook. I can't check, cause the king is on a white square, and the bishop is on a dark square. <laughs> These games are tough. Okay, so if I come here and it takes, I just take this and there's a check. I it will come here, I can just double up on here. I think I just take it. There you go. Yeah. So uh this is just a one move puzzle, it's just a I guess the best move you can have. Uh yeah. It's just the best move, but honestly speaking, I do I have no idea how to play this line. So, so if I take this and if it takes, I just take the rook. So I'm winning a a bishop. So I'm winning a rook and a knight for a bishop, which is a good, which is a good trade. But if if it decides to take this, I just take it away, and then it takes. Was that a good move? I mean, that means it's a fair trade. So I'm trading a rook and a bishop for a knight and a rook. Which I guess is fair. And then this is, I guess, kind of in trouble. Then it's just a... Because I have three pawns here. Look at that. One, two, three. And he has two pawns here. So I probably want to try to attack like on this side. And try to promote a pawn. So that's what I'll be trying to do. Oh yeah, Happy New Year, Lester. Yeah, Happy New Year too, Josh. Thank you for supporting not just me but like for TSL as well thank you everyone for coming on I know 13 people doesn't sound like a lot of people especially the last time we live streamed there was a hundred people which is madness by the way but I was uh I mean this 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 stream is about chess so I didn't really expect a whole bunch of people but I just hope that hopefully you guys are a bit more interested and for the next few times I'll be streaming chess I might stream tomorrow I may be streaming daily for the next week who knows but if I stream Hopefully you guys come on the show and come on and watch me as well because you guys are hopefully I uh make chess seem a bit more accessible. Okay, so he moves his knight away, which obviously threatens the queen. Do I just take it? That looks like the obvious thing to do. And it's always not the obvious thing to do that is supposed to be done. Mm. Hmm. 
or I can just take this rook. So I'll take this. If it takes, I take I take the queen. If I take this knight, it takes the queen. I take the queen. It takes it, and I take the bishop. If I take this, I'm losing a whole queen for no reason. So that's what I'm probably gonna do. There you go. No, no, don't say that. I'm not the biggest fan anyway. <laughs> Josh, I think you are the biggest fan, man. A lot of the people in TSL knows about you. And of course, uh, I know about you. So that's pretty good. Do you do on Twitch? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean on Twitch? So basically, this whole series, the Road to Win, Road to One Win, will be streamed on YouTube. So it'll be here. So you don't have to go to different platforms just to see me play. So, uh... I'll be training and trying puzzles and playing games and all that uh, in the next one week leading up to the tournament. And for the people who just joined, the tournament is on 9th of January, which is this coming Saturday. Not coming Saturday, but tomorrow Saturday, the next Saturday. So it's next Saturday at from 1.30 to 6pm. There's also live commentary by um, the chess grandmaster. So uh, we won't... So uh yeah, I'll be streaming the tournament as well. So you'll be uh you'll be able to see me uh basically play the games and you I won't be talking much because I it's a blitz tournament and I just want to think and try to win. But after the thing I'll talk to you guys and hopefully have a nice uh hopefully have one win. So this that's the reason why this thing is called Road to One Win is because we just want one win guys. We just need one win and I'm happy. Okay. Obviously, it's backing the knight. Huh. How do they solve these puzzles in like so quickly? If I move this here, it just takes. So that's not really I ideal. This attacking this, I'll just take it. And of course, this is attacking this. If I take it, the rook takes. My I can move here, but it will just take. And it's a free piece. It's basically a free bishop. So this thing kind of has to move. Or there has to be an equal or equivalent threat to the queen right here. I mean, this seems like an alright move. But you will be taken by the pawn. And it's the threat on the queen again. So... I'm not very inclined to do that. If I just do this, take, 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 take. No, it's rook here. Take here. Oh, why isn't it that? Let's look at a hint. The queen. I can't move here because the knight is protecting it. If I move here. It's just a take. If I move here, I mean that is the only place I see. I can move back, but that's a little bit weird. Do I just move it there? Is this a queen sack situation? Do I sack my queen in this case? <sighs> Sorry guys, I'll get back to the to the comments real soon. Let me let me solve this damn puzzle. Wait. I don't want to know the move. Is it this? I I think it's a bit stupid to go here. I'm just trapping my queen. There's nothing I can do. I mean I can take it, but there's nothing protecting it from the from the from the thing. I might act, I would act, in real life I might actually just move this, actually no. Is it here? Why? Why? Can someone explain to me? Anyone who explains to me? Look at his king. Uh-huh. 
I mean, of course, I'm, I'm trapping it here. Are you trying to smother me this thing? Wait, if I move it here... What's the point? Okay, anyways. Uh, I by accident made someone angry, so yeah, I don't want to be famous. Now at the age, I'd rather be a friend than a fan. You understand the chess game, I'm guessing. I don't even know how to play and very slow to understand. Hey, it's fine, Joshua. It's fine, Josh, I mean. Uh, it's fine. Uh, I mean, I think the big, there's a very big, okay, let's, 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 uh, let's, let's switch it to a more serious tone right now. I think there's a very big, um, elitism around chess, right? Because a lot of people think of chess as like, oh, only smart people can play, only, uh, elite people can play, only nerds play it, etc, etc. It's been such a closed off culture for a very long time. And I, I think it's great that Queen's Gambit came out. And you know what? Even I thought so, okay? Like, even I thought it was... Even I thought that, like, chess was, like, a, a closed-off area, like, a closed-off sport or hobby because I wasn't good at it. Like, okay, so in Hua Chong, I actually tried to apply for a chess club just for the laws. Uh, but I failed. And uh, I, I think I was very lucky that I got someone who actually played me as if I'm his equal and not like looking down on me and scholars mating me. So uh my man does your place have thunder. I think rumbling might be coming from the table. Oh yeah, my bad because okay my mic is on the table, so I move my mic a lot, so I'm so sorry guys. But anyways, so I think chess comes is is very there's a very a lot a lot of elitism around chess, but I don't think that it's uh, I think it's starting to break down, especially from the Queen's Gambit. A lot of people are starting to understand, like, okay, uh, chess maybe is a cool sport. Maybe chess is uh, something that you can play anyways. And streamers like SQC, like Ludwig, like Hikaru, they're starting to make chess a little bit more accessible. So I, I don't... I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to... I'm, th there's a reason why I'm, like, streaming this, and even though I could just, like, be very quiet and... Uh, fail by myself but I'm just thinking that like if I show that I fail and I, I suck the chess but I'm still playing chess anyways uh, hopefully you guys are a bit will be a bit more like motivated to just try it out because like this one asshole here is just uh, trying to do his best and he's having fun I guess I'm having a lot of fun even though I'm failing very really, really badly so I think you don't have to uh, worry too much just uh coming for a ride and if you don't understand i'll run through the moves one more time uh the whole move set of the different pieces and you guys can see uh you can click the analysis button to learn more about the moves it's the magnifying glass button hey thanks man appreciate it let's let's do that right now okay chess bot and analysis and oh thanks man how do i not know this okay so in this case okay so this is the white bar Okay, I completely forgot that there's this function, right? So there's this white bar. So basically, they're saying that white is winning, like, by far. Uh, which is cool. So if I move it there... What's the next line? Oh, it's just going to check. And that's mid. Is that mid? So the pawn has to move up because if it doesn't move up, this if he does anything else, he is it's just mid here. Oh, so it moves up here for his king to escape, and then I can just what does he do? So the king escapes. I take king escape takes the pawn. Okay, I get, I get what I mean. Okay, so I, I, I see why now. I see why now. Uh, I'll leave this page. Yeah, I'll leave this page. Oh boy, what happened? Okay. So, yeah. For the people who didn't understand what just happened, so basically when I play this move, the only move he can do really is to release this pawn because in the next move, this guy is getting checkmated because he can't move only way. There's no way to block it. He can't move left, right. He's being blocked in. So the only way is move out and try to uh, escape. And 
from there is is like pretty much a lost cause because you can just start massacring all his pieces. I see it. Okay. Just a question for hi I am noob. Uh obviously you play chess, so uh are you having fun now? <laughs> are you having fun watching this? Like this is ridiculously like, I'm pretty sure you're very frustrated right now. I'm so sorry. Uh if this is not for you, I don't mind if you just leave because it's really obviously for beginners. If I move this down here, his queen has to take. Then I can come here and it's checkmate. There you go. Oh my goodness, I solved a puzzle, guys. Okay, I'm not very good at doing the best move without a checkmate. I need a checkmate to see things. So in this case, the queen move out this way. So it's protecting this square. And in this case, in a, for the people who don't know chess, so you, to checkmate a king, you need to put it in check. And then if it cannot move or there's no legal move it can do to stop the attack, either by taking the piece or by moving away or anything, it's called a checkmate. So this, p this, this square right here is very, very vulnerable because it's closest to the king. So if the queen comes in here and is being protected by a bishop, it cannot take the queen because it will still be under attack. It can't move here, it can't move here, it can't move here, can't move anywhere. It will just be stuck. And that's a checkmate. So uh basically that's why uh that's probably why black played this played this move. And uh rook attacking it as well. So he played this move to also protect this this very vulnerable square. As you can see, uh this these two are basically just eyeing this one this one uh square right now, the the F7 square. So uh generally you won't want to sacrifice a piece unless you can clearly see a mate coming very very soon so but in this case if i just move this down if i just move this rook down checking the queen the king it can't move here it can't move here because the queen and the bishop i should the queen and the bishop are basically stopping the king from moving anywhere so if i move this down here the queen has to take it to neutralize the threat and when I when it does that, this and when when this queen moves down here, this 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 square is basically uh when the queen moves down here, this square is basically like empty for it to just come in and check me. So that's that's the reasoning behind it. So if I check, you move. Is that mid? That mid. Ah, that's mid. Okay, <laughs> that's an easy one. Okay, so uh, the the queen is obviously uh limiting the king to basically. This is the only square it can be on, because it can't come here. It can't come here. It can't come here. So in the next move, this thing is gone, and you can't take because this rook is being uh, protected by the other rook. So. If this rook takes this queen in the next turn, uh, there's really nothing much you can do. But you want the queen, if you are if you're getting the king in this corner, you want to keep up the momentum and try to trap it there as well. So when I see this, it can't move to this corner, it can't move to the h1 square, it can't move to this square, it can't move to this square. Basically the next thing I see is like, okay, let's try to check it. And that's a checkmate because it can't move anywhere else and there's nowhere to take this knight. If I move this up, it's a check. Is that a mid? Then you can move up here. You can move back up here. I can't move this up because you just take, and it's a check. 
But if I move this up here, it's a check. You only can move up here. Oh, I got another rook here. It's protecting it. Okay, yeah, there you go. Yep, there you go. So in this case, you want to check the... Uh, I mean, the rule of thumb is to look for checks, but I mean, who knows? Who knows, right? So basically... Okay, wait, time out. There's so, so many comments. Annabelle, Alastair, you the man. Ah, thank you, Annabelle. Vicinity Studio. Vicinity Studio is the company I'm working for for the next one week. I only have one week left in the company. But if you need wedding videography or any other videography or photography or anything you want, definitely go to them. They are great. Uh, that's the reason why I decided to join them because I want to learn from the best. So they, they are wonderful. So definitely hit them up if you need your wedding stuff. Uh, no wonder you kept wanting to play chess in the office by Kevin. So Kevin is the boss. Uh, yeah. I, actually, I was just very obsessed with chess the recent, this, this few weeks. So I've been going around the office asking if people play chess. I just want to play. Annabelle, do you mean checking for checks? <sighs> sure. Sure, Annabelle. Sure. Okay. So back to the analysis. <laughs> if I move up here, it checks. The only way you can move is here because... Here is basically being blocked off by the rook. It it can't come here because this pawn is attacking this 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 uh, is protecting this square. So it comes here. It only can come here. I didn't see this rook before, so I I thought that this was going uh, is a losing move. He's basically gonna just take it. But if when I saw this, I was like, okay, yeah, just move it and move here. It's a checkmate because it can't move anywhere else. What's this black to move? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. If I take, it takes. And come down and that's mid. There you go. It checks out. My goodness, Annabelle. Stop it. <laughs> so Annabelle is uh, another uh, colleague I have in Vicinity Studios. Vicinity Studio. I just learned that there was no there's no S behind the studio. Uh thank you, Kevin, for pointing that out to me. Okay. Uh Vicinity signed Alester up, gave him the job. Uh, I'm not good enough. Not nearly good enough. <laughs> it's fine. I, I I don't need the job. It's fine. Uh, it's also not for me. But that's another. Uh, I think I think it's a very very good learning experience. But it's also uh, it also made me realize that perhaps set life is not really, f uh, for me. So okay, let's let's go to the analysis of this. By the way, guys, my ranking is for puzzles are increasing ever so slightly. So uh, this is just a sign that if you train more and more things will work out for you so in this case you want to try to so this is attacking the knight there's nothing really protecting the knight and nothing that can protect the knight unless you unless you do this but that's weird so the knight is protecting the is protecting the square right now so when i'm looking at this i'm just looking at the king if i manage to get a rook here and the king is here there's no way he can run so i if i take this so that's why i took it uh, the king has to take because he has no other, he can't go here. He has to take it to solve the check. And because the knight is protecting the the d1 square, if I move the rook down, it's just checkmate. Yep. Once again, for the new people who are coming here, thank you guys so much for thank you guys so much for uh coming on. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Hopefully, twenty twenty one is less of a shit show. Uh. But you know what? Let's not jinx it. Uh, for the people who are new, the premise is this. I am supposed to go for a chess tournament next Saturday on 9th of January from 1 o'clock, 1.30 to 6pm. I will be streaming that tournament as well. So if you guys want to see me fail, hopefully not. But if you guys want to see me fail, please um, join the stream. And hopefully uh, you guys have a good time as well. Hopefully I get you guys interested a little bit in chess. 
trying to learn a little bit uh play with your friends a little bit even if you mess up who cares i messed up so much look at this look at this shit this is just me messing up so i messed it up a thousand times already it's fine to mess up it's okay so uh hopefully you guys are fine with this um <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. uh i don't disturb the tell you for the tournament training thanks annabelle annabelle is a great great friend she is one of the first people to actually like make me very comf- more comfortable in the company. So thank you so much. Kevin, he doesn't need the job. He got other better rounds ahead. That's a very, very nice way of saying that I suck. It's fine, Kevin. I forgive you. Also, is my is my is my is my audio out of sync again? Oh geez. Okay, wait, let me let me put it back to sync. So in and out of sync, and I have no idea why. Okay, is it in sync now? Is it better now? Okay. I think it should be better now. Tell me if it's our sync, guys. You don't have to deal with our, our sync audio. Is it still in sync? Okay. Okay, if I move this down, it takes. I take and it's, that's checkmate. <laughs> okay. So in this case, uh, also another checkmating thing. Uh, quite easy to see because uh there's basically double up rooks so if there's double up rooks is a good like these two rooks is there's the double up rooks is basically a sure fire sign that this thing is under attack and if you are on the opposite end of this you better try to do something to stop this shit and the queen is on oh, shit the queen is also attacking this uh f f2 pawn so that's a it's a good sign that this thing is uh under grave danger and if i take it takes um, I'll just take it back and it's checkmate but if I take and it does not take uh, it tries to find a different way to, to check me maybe like this and I'll move out here or like he wants to do this or some shit it doesn't matter it's basically winning still for for black because this rook is gone in the next turn Hmm. So instinct again. Just come in here. If he blocks, I mean he will probably run out. Unless I do this. If I do this, it takes. I no. There's a pawn waiting. Am I overthinking this? I'm overthinking this. It's just this. It has to run either here he runs there and let's do this i mean he can take i'm trying to find a way to checkmate this so if i move this here it can either run or move the bishop he won't want to move the bishop because it's a free bishop if i move this down here okay i'll want to move this here and move this down here so you can only escape through here and then i can slowly build it up actually i wonder what's the best move okay here here what, how am i going to stop this this can't be stopped so the problem is this is this f7 square so if i come here the queen the king just moves here and threatens this so and I can't save it with the queen. So if I move this down here, check. I think that's the better idea. This is it. There you go. I'm at all sync again, and I'm out of sync again, of course, of course. Wait a minute. Why am I keep going out of, in and out of sync? This is just terrible. So, in this case, let's let's see what's happening here. So, as you guys can hear while I was going through this, when if I move this here, this thing comes here, there's nothing really much to stop me, and I kind of have to move this here and all my pieces are just under attack right now there's a threaten of 
there's a bit of a threaten right here of this move or anything along those lines so it's pretty bad for me so i kind of have to try my best to check and try to get all of this so i don't get a spare move so if i move this here it moves down here if it moves here i have no idea how to stop it actually i just probably check here and then it's mid now come here is mid so it has to move here it's the best move it can do then i can just take this and attack this there's a free pawn uh i i guess it can move back down but then it's come here and it's i think it's mid so if it comes so let's say let's say you play out so this check it can move here or here so if i just play here it comes out here hmm do you know what let's not think so far <laughs> keep going out sing no wonder they didn't get the studio job that's right kevin Never teach me enough. I, 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 I see, here's the thing. It just keeps going out of sync. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know why. I, I, I was trying to solve it the entire time. Uh, I'll go and research more. So this this pawn is attacking the bishop. Uh, normally, I'll just take because it's blitz, but I'm pretty sure there's a better move here. I normally just take and trade and trade the and trade the, the pieces and then I'll just take this and I'll just take this bishop out of the way. Is it the best move though? Yeah, I think so. Let's check. Uh, I'll probably move this out. Oh, this bishop is hanging. Oof! Wait, 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 wait. If I move here, this comes here. If I move here, it still comes here. I can threaten it. Oh, I can just do this pawn up and threaten the queen. I mean, <laughs> so that's what I do. I I I I overthink. Maybe I I some okay. Here's the thing. Every time I say I overthink, I'll go to a mode where I don't think, and when I don't think, I do worse. And then I'll overthink and then it's just a huge vicious cycle. So basically this whole thing is that this is under attack. And I'm very radio. I'm someone who likes to trade away pieces. So even in real blitz, I will just take away this. And then because this is attacking this, I'll just take it away. And when it comes down here, because this bishop is protecting this square, I didn't see it at first, but this bishop is, uh, this bishop is protecting this square. I can just move up this and protect this and uh, attack the queen on this side. And it has to either move back and because the wait, let me see. So in this case, if the queen is here, the bishop is here, is uh is attacking the queen. And if it doesn't move, nothing will happen. And if it doesn't move, the, the the pawn is just attacking it. If it moves here, the queen takes it. So it does it essentially has to move back here or here. And that's like uh I guess a wasted move. And my my pieces are a bit more developed than the white's pieces. Yeah. What happened? Okay. So it's, it's attacking my knight here. My 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 rook here. Why my white? Oh. Oh. Huh. I mean I can do this. I mean I can just take it, but <laughs> it is weird. Is it a trick here? Do I am I not supposed to is it a better I mean I can just take it. I should just take it right as a queen. Come on. And I'll just move this down and put the protect where I can't oh shoot. Huh. I mean it doesn't matter because this whole rank is being protected by a rook, so I guess I have to move up. I can't move up because the bishop is so I kinda have to move here. Take. Okay. 
I don't know the point of this exercise. Target time 41 seconds. How much did I solve it in? Puzzle rating 1200. Oh, I solved a 1200 puzzle. Look at that, guys. This is this is just proof that if you do more, maybe things will, good things will happen to you. Okay. So it took my bishop. Obviously, this is in uh this is uh threatened, but it also threatening this because if it comes here. So it's basically hanging this queen in hopes of being able to pro promote this this uh this pawn. Um but of course it's a terrible idea. So I just take the queen, move up, move out, take. Yeah. If I do this, I can't okay, I can't do that. It's check, you just take. So it doesn't make sense. I'll probably want to move out here and try to protect this this piece. I'll move down here. Okay, in real life I'll probably do that, but that's wrong. Okay. I mean if I move down here, it take and I'll just take this pawn. I guess that's the point. I guess. Oh shit. What's the hint? The rook. That's what I was thinking. The rook down. But you just take I guess I get a rook in exchange. Yeah, but I don't know. I I, I wouldn't really like that move though. I kinda wanna see what happens if I play this. So it moves down here. I played if I if I play this, it'll probably play this. But in that case, I can just play this, try to threaten it away. But the king can just take it. Hmm. Maybe not the best idea. Because if I play this right now, take. It kind of it cannot take. If it, so if I play this, it cannot take because um this will just take and it's a queen. So if I play this, it has to take this and then I have to take the rook. So it's basically a pawn for a rook, which I guess is a good trade. But I kind of just want to promote this pawn. It's really a pass pawn, so I don't know. Maybe 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 I'm just wrong. If I come down here. If I do this and I come down here, it will take. I take, take. Okay, no. So if I do this, come down here. If I do this, shit, if I do this, probably come here. If I do this, you'll probably just take. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's the best move. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining once again. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, hopefully you guys are having fun uh, with just learning about chess right now. I know it's not the most exciting thing to be streaming, but hopefully... As you guys are seeing me and seeing my my thought processes, and I'm breaking it down better for you guys, and you guys will be will be able to, um, yeah, learn a bit more as well. Let me see what else do I need to do here. Okay, so the so his uh, the, the knight moved, trying to uh attack the queen right there. I I I uh, no, but that doesn't make sense. If I do this, it can take here. If I do this, no, terrible idea. So I my instinct is to try to fork this queen and rook, but this pawn is taking it. So I mean, if you take, I I guess I just take the <laughs> the knight right. Yeah, let's not overthink this, guys. And then... Yeah. Gerald Lim says, Hello, Alastair. Hi, man. Uh, Welcome to the stream. For the new people here, I'm basically playing a chess tournament next Saturday from 1.30 to 6pm. But I'm really not very good at chess. So I'm just uh, trying my best to um, train. 
so I don't completely uh, get destroyed and that's why this series is called Road to One Win because we're just trying to get one win guys we're just trying to get one win so okay in this case so this uh, okay so the puzzle is this the, the, the knight is obviously trying to take the, the queen so uh, I mean it, that's obviously a good trade even though it, it will take away so uh, to me my inst yeah you just take the you just take the knight it's a free knight I, I don't know it's a free knight you are trading a knight for two pawns so okay so the reason why it's two pawns is because this knight comes and takes this this pawn and then you take the knight and then your queen takes the the queen takes the pawn and uh your your your, your king just moves to safety in this great square i'm a bit uncomfortable simply because this is a so once I move this here, there's a threaten of check made because it's really really iffy right now. If there's something that goes wrong, I mean it's down the line kind of thing. But if let's say the bishop comes in and then the rook comes in here and tries to attack one of these two pawns, it might be a bit of a problem because there's no way that I can protect it. <clears throat> but in terms of like pieces or anything. Uh, uh, both of these are protected by the knight and the the, the queen and the rook, so it's not that bad. It's just I feel very uncomfortable with this. That's why I didn't really like it. But you know, it's the right answers according to the computer. So who am I to say? Hmm. Okay, so this is protected. Oh, what? Huh. So the next thing is going to do is take my rope because my rope can't. At least I do this. Oh, that makes so much more sense. What am I doing? So let them in. Okay, so this is what we call the ladder mate. So, if you have two rooks, that is what generally what you're trying to look out for. Uh, it, it's trying to ladder the king. So when the, the 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 nature of the rook is that it basically when it comes to the king, it basically just shields off this whole thing. So if the king is here, which is move here. If you check this way, uh, because it can't move down here, it can't move here also. It can't move here because there's nothing. It can't move here because it's check. It has to move down. And because of that, when you move down, essentially as... See, it moved down. It can't... Okay, so in this case, when I move it here, the king can't take this rook because... Uh, the king can't take the rook because the bishop has can take the, the rook as well. So uh, I, I played this move which allowed it to uh, run away a little bit. So uh, this is a better move. It allows the 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 bishop is uh, protecting the rook. He goes down, and then I I check it, and the own this without this without the bishop right here, uh this this is done like this. There's no way the king can move, because this is protected as usual. There's no way the king can move. Is being checkmated by the rooks, but if he comes down here, uh which it did, I just take, and uh. The good thing is that this rook is protected, this rook is protected, that's mid. Gerald Lim says, haha, you're doing good so far. Hey, thank you, man. Uh I I I I I, I am I? I have no idea. Thanks. I mean my instinct is to move up here to threaten both the knight and the queen. This is protected. It comes down here, a stick. Yeah. There you go. So <laughs> puzzle rating it's it is six eighty six. It's basically like So this is my rating, my puzzle rating right now. It's not that great guys. Uh I'm not I'm not like the best or anything. So in this case it's like basically is the is the theory of the fork again. So Basically, it's making the people choose between two pieces. So when this piece moves up, the, the queen can't take because the bishop is here. So if I move up, 
the queen can't take it because the bishop is protecting this this pawn right here. So it's a basically this pawn is attacking the knight and the and the queen, and there's no way to take it back because the queen can't. As I said, the queen can't take it because the bishop is here. So the queen has to move back. No matter, doesn't really matter. Move here, uh, whatever lah. So in that case, I just take I just take the the I just take the 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 knight for free. For in I mean, it's probably gonna take it back with either the bishop or the pawn. So if I take the pawn will take or the bishop will take, but trading that one pawn for a knight is uh significantly it's a it's good it's winning for black. So this square is obviously very... It's the Scholar's Mate. Oh my god, this guy tried the Scholar's Mate. So this Scholar's Mate is the three move mate. I'll show you guys later. But like basically... But this guy knows that, okay, like, he has to stop it. Oh, geez, I can't kind of stopped here as well. If I move this down here... It just... No, that's a bad move. There's only one, you just take. And if I take, it will take. So it doesn't matter. Okay, I want to pin this bishop right now. Oh, wait, 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 it's being attacked. Oh, shit, I didn't see. Uh, the queen is attacking my queen right now. I was take it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I, 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 I'm a very aggressive person when it comes to chess. Everything else, not really, but when it comes to chess. So the next thing I'll do is probably move this bishop up. <gasps> no! What? It's not. I just want to... Oh, wait, what am I doing? Just take the bishop. What am I doing? Oh my goodness. Ah, my beginners, uh, my, just as Jero said, haha, you're doing good so far, therefore much better than a beginner. Uh, I, I go ahead and show that I am indeed a beginner because I completely miss that this was attacking my queen. <laughs> but I, I, I'll take it, man. Like, I'm a very aggressive person, so I'll take it. Take. I, I tried to do this because I, I, I didn't see this. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a dumb shit, so you can just take it. So it's basically... Uh, a trinquit, a trinquit, a queen trade, and I get a bishop. So that's good. Good news for us. Okay. What's stopping me from doing this? Oh, there you go. So, but what's stopping me from doing this? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's where I'm going. That's me. There you go. So, uh, I mean, this puzzle rating is very low, just as I'm feeling good about myself. It's 565. <laughs> so this is just a checkmate ritual. So a ritual, uh, a checkmate drill. <laughs> is it a drill? So basically, uh, this, this square, these two squares are particularly uh, dangerous for black, uh, for white. So if I move my queen down, uh, because this queen is being protected by Bishop. So as for the people who are new, I guess you guess you guys can see like there's a pattern right here. Try to basically the way I look at it is I, I wanna jam my queen down the person's like the king's throne and protect it with something and that the and make it so close to the king such that it cannot move anywhere and or make it move only one place and it can't take it because it's protected. So that's what generally I'm looking out for most of the time. So my queen comes down here, it checks the the king it has to move down which it does because obviously the the bishop is protecting the queen and then because this knight is also attacking this this poor pawn right here if i take it there's no place that the king can go it can't take because the knight is protecting it there's no way to stop it so it's checkmate okay so it's attacking my bishop It's also being protected. So, okay, under normal circumstances, I would have just let it take. If this bishop wasn't here, I'll let it take. I'll move here, and you'll come back, and I'll back rank, I'll back rank mate it. 
but because this is here protecting this square so it's not as simple <laughs> I mean I'll probably move here probably move here and move down and fork the no wait terrible idea no 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 don't listen to me I realize that my commentary gets like worse and worse as time goes on because I really I'm really just trying to focus on trying to win. I mean I can do this, but it's not I'm not protect. I think I can actually, and threaten this piece. Okay. So moves up because he knows you're threatening this piece. If I take, it can't take. There you go. Okay, so the the top process behind this is pretty simple. So this queen is already lined up against this. So as you guys know that when the king is like so constrained in the corner right here, normally these few normally these few squares are quite vulnerable if you don't protect it properly in this case the black's positioning is such that this is really not protected at all and as you can clearly see my queen's really trying to attack this so i'm just trying to reinforce a, the the attack by moving the bishop so if i move it here the bishop is attacking here is moving attack here is if they don't do anything else is made in one so if it moves like some random move let's say it does this or whatever if i move down here that's checkmate so it has to move down here, which is what it does. Alternatively, it can also move down like this, but uh, actually I have no idea why I didn't do that. I guess I can do this and cheese it, you know. Actually, no, I couldn't have done that because this is being protected. So I, I don't know, maybe it should have just done this. Oh well, so it moved down. It's, uh, it's threatening my queen, of course, but it's also uh, trying to protect from this from from this checkmate from happening but in this case uh if i take this it's this thing called a pin so a pin is basically when you have a queen a bishop or a, a, a rook or whatever there's that is like basically making a piece stay there because if not it will be an illegal move so this is lined up with the with the with the with the king if it moves, it cannot move away and take my bishop because it's an illegal move because my queen is will be attacking the king. So it's a pin. Basically, I'm making sure that this thing cannot move. Next move is... Most reasonable move is probably... Actually, no. This checkmate next way. So he just does this to delay his misery and probably take this away. But... Uh, I can't, it basically can't move away because um, it's under check lah. So, the next thing he did was take my rook because if he does anything else, it's, it's, it's mid. Unless he does this, then I'll just take. But, he at least gets a rook out of it, but he sacrifices the queen. So, uh, the next thing he's going to do is probably do this, and then I'm probably just going... And then, uh, but we move on because we have a... Uh, we have a queen versus a rook and a bishop. It's, I, I don't know whether is it uh, fully winning for black... For white, but oh well. Queen can go to h6. Wait, h6. So if it if it takes here, you mean queen just go h6 and cut off this whole point for black? Yeah, yeah. I just get out the back rank mate here. So this is very dangerous. So when the king is being not protected by anything right here in this case, right? Like it's very scared. It's very scary because if the if the rook just comes down here, so the good thing is that the queen is here. So if the rook down comes down here, I'll just take it. But if the queen comes goes to h six or any other square for that matter, that's past this 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 line here, the rook comes down. There's no way that the king can move, and that's checkmate. And that's the most tragic checkmate that you ever get because that's really damn stupid. So. 
Uh, I'm just very wary of this. Lah. Oh, so this is a queen, like a pawn ending. I'll probably want to take it. Because if it takes, uh, it's bad. So from here, we're just going to try to cut off the king. Take as a risk. There you go. So this is our this is an end game. So end game is basically at the end of the I mean as the name suggests is an end game. Oh Gerald says no, I mean if you move G pawn to the front to prevent the checkmate. Oh in front of the king. Ah oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, yeah, I see it. That makes sense. Oh wait, you did it. Maybe that doesn't make sense. I have no idea. So basically this uh, end game is a is a classic pawn end game. Uh king pawn end game. So all the pieces are gone already. Uh the whole point of this the whole point of this is that you're just trying to uh you're just trying to promote your pawn and get a queen and you're trying to make it such that it's a queen and a king and what versus one king and that's easily checkmate. You just need to trap the king in the corner, like in here, and it's easily checkmate. So White plays this move which is uh I don't know man Should we have played that move? I don't think it matters This is kind of bad for white Because If you play here I just take you Honest It can't come here Because I'll just take And I have just two pawns Ready to get promoted So It has to take But once it takes It's basically solidifying this too So there's, there's no way He can take me So the only way Is for his king To slowly come in and take But in this case My king can just have Come in and take in two moves This king needs three moves and the next move is mine. So I just move the king, take the I take the pawn, and it's just a drag raise down. So this is just a raise down for me right now. So uh, I think got delay then you missed so I did the uh, uh, sorry Jero. But yeah, it can just it can still come in here and uh, I mean it can still come in here and try to take, but uh so this one, two, three, four, five, I think it's five moves. Uh this one, two, yeah, it's not making making it in time. As you can clearly see, it's just it just made a drag race down. And even if you move up, which you'll probably move up, I'll just I'll I'll just check and try to get the king out of the way. Like here or something, and I'll move down here and move here. And try to stop the pawn as well. And try to bring the king in the in this in the situation as well. So not looking good for white in this case. It's also ten o'clock. I'm probably gonna stream for another ten more minutes. I sorry I didn't play any games today. I just want to really play puzzles so that I can play better in games. I don't see a point in playing games over and over again when I'm not gonna do well in them. So yeah. Okay, I got this move. That checks. But it also brings this here. So this being protected. So this thing is so this queen is obviously trying to take my knight and in if I just take this thing takes, I take and I take the bishop. Hmm. Hmm. I mean that sounds good to me. Oh, it's not. Huh. Okay. My idea was it takes. I take. I check. So it takes. It takes. I check. And I take the bishop and I trade one more time. That's my idea, but apparently it's wrong. Should I just go here straight? If I come here straight, it takes, take, take, take. Okay, yeah, I think it's a good idea actually. I take, it checks, take, or take. If I take this, no, this way, take the queen. No! This queen. Is gone in the next turn. So I need to do something to prevent that. Hmm. 
What am I supposed to do? I guess I can play my bishop down. I just take. Let's get a hint. The knight. Okay. You can't play that because when you just take. If I take the knight, it's a check, but you will also. It's called removing the defender. Oh! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god, how did I not see that? Oh god, how did I not see that? Okay, okay. This is, this is cool, this is cool. This is cool, this is... Oh my goodness. Our team removed the defender, see guys. I need to go and learn some stuff, man. Okay, so... The first thing I did, okay, so it took it took my pawn. Oh yeah. Hi Keith, uh hi Alester, was wondering if I can come out to the IMO episode as an anonymous. Hey Keith, uh actually actually I think I saw this message in the last uh stream for IMO. I'm so sorry I didn't reply. Um there was a lot going on. Uh you can drop me a DM at Insect Logger. And my Instagram you can, is in the description box right now. And uh, uh, just tell me what you want to talk about and stuff. Uh, but we are we are kind of postponing IMO for like a while. Like for two, like for until February. So we we'll see how that goes. You can DM me. Happy New Year. So in this case, it's removing Defender as Gerald Lim has pointed out. So I, I checked here, it's taking it's checking the, the king. Why didn't you just take? Why didn't you just take? Oh if it if it takes, this is gone. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so in this case I should have just seen that this knight is the only thing that's protecting this queen, instead of seeing that this queen is is attacking my my queen. So it if it attack if it takes it, this queen is gone. So it has to move out. And then if I take it away and check, sure this is gonna take it. But the next thing I do is just take the queen because the knight is now gone. The knight that was once was once that was not the knight that was once defending the queen is now taken away from my knight. So I sacrifice this sacrifice this knight for a queen. So in this case it's just uh, smooth sailing. Because I have one queen, one bishop and two rooks versus a, a bishop and two rooks. Uh, I'll read it. Uh, it's okay. Happy New Year to you too, and hope you do well in the tournament. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, if you guys want to see me fail slash do pretty decently, probably fail at the tournament on 9th January, please block it out. It's in the afternoon from one thirty to six p.m. I'll be streaming the entire thing. I might what I might call the chess grandmaster himself and see how that goes. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. The main thing is that. Uh, the king is in check. That's why you got power. Yeah. So, I I mean I know the general rule of thumb is you want to look for checks to force his his him force him to do certain things. So if I come here and the queen moves here, I just if I come here and the queen moves here, I just take with my oh shit what am I doing? If I come here and the queen moves here, I just take my bishop. He takes with this, take with this, and he's just waiting for me. I the next move. The next few moves is pretty pretty much gone. So uh yeah, he has to move away, take, it's in check, he has to solve the check. Um and your queen's gone. There you go. Hmm. I hate this. I hate the middle game. I, I'm very bad at the middle game because everything just confuses the fuck out of me. 
Okay, if I do this, it takes here. No, I cannot. If I do this, it takes here. No. Okay, if I do this, it has to take. And then the next thing is I take this. Because if I do this and it takes here, this thing is taken. Or if I do this and it takes here, I just take it and take. I think. There you go. Okay. Oh, it's not done? Heck. Oh, there you go. Okay. Here's the thing, I like the game, the tournament is Blitz. So Blitz is basically three minutes, is three minutes plus two seconds. So every move I make is plus two seconds. So it's three minutes. I don't have time to draw so many damn arrows. <laughs> so I'm a little bit scared. So, okay, in this case, uh, because he's threatening my queen, generally what you want to do is uh, try to give him an equal amount of... Uh, so this thing can't actually move because if it moves, uh, your queen is gone. Should, could I have just taken it? Perhaps. If it takes, I just take. But it's not as good because I don't win back the bishop. So in this case, if I if I do this, uh, if it takes, I just take the bishop away. So it's just a, I win the knight. So it kind of has to take the queen for it to make to make it worth it for him. So in this case, a lot of people, so a lot, I think a lot of beginners they think of like chess is they always think of chess as like checkers. So when when something happens, you have to take it. You don't have to take it. You kind of you can just wait a few a few turns before you take it. So it takes this. Uh, of course I can take it, but it's not checkers. I don't have to take it immediately. I just take the queen first. Let the let the rook take the bishop. Uh, or this rook take the bishop, and I, and then I take the bishop. So overall, uh, I'm up one bishop. The pawn structure for black looks great though. You can watch Ice other's YouTube channel called Gotham Chess. He makes interesting videos that are easy to follow. I do watch Gotham Chess. I also watch Hikaru. I watch all these people. Uh, somehow I'm still not that great. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I do watch Gotham Chess. I I really enjoy his stuff. So. Obviously, one thing I'm going to do right now is check. He's going to move it away. I'm going to checkmate him. Right? There you go. So, uh, I do watch Gotham Chess. He makes interesting videos. I Yeah, he does. I love Gotham Chess, actually. Uh, that's where I learn most of my openings and everything. Thank you guys for coming on the show, by the way, during your New Year's. I know it's late. I know you guys are probably going to rather be out there partying and stuff. But the seven people are here, I know you guys there's not a lot of people, but uh but I'm still very grateful for you guys and I hope that amongst these seven of you, some of you haven't played chess before in your life and you're just interested in seeing some chess. So yeah. So in this case, so the pawn moves up here, no idea why, but good for me, it opens up this whole oh okay. It op it do it did this because he wants to open up an attack on my on my on my queen that's unprotected and if I take it uh the king is just gonna take it so it doesn't matter. So uh as as Hikaru slash Gotham Chess always used to say look for the checks or as Annabelle says check for the checks. So just check moves down here and there's a checkmate because the knight is protecting this square. Is it mate? Yeah because he also can't take this uh knight because the pawn is Protecting it. So I think it is mid. Okay, if I do this. Okay. Oh, oh my god. That's a mouse, mouse slip. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. I am screwed. I mean, I can just take the bishop. Should I just take the bishop? If I take the bishop, come here and I check. He can only move here. If I 
comes in and I check I only move here so you'll be trapped in that corner Huh, it's wrong, okay This doesn't look right I guess I take it, I take, take, and I, I guess it's a f There you go Okay By the way, did you watch the Queen's Gambit? I did watch the Queen's Gambit Uh, I, I, I Honestly, I didn't know that Queen's Gambit was a opening <laughs> The only opening I knew prior to the last few weeks was the French defense and like the normal um, E4 The normal E4 and D4 Openings So uh, I did watch the Queen's Gambit uh, I didn't think the storyline was great I thought it was a little bit rushed towards the end But I did think that it's a really good move I think what makes it great was that It's not just It's, not, it's a chess series that's not just chess It's a chess series that is actually about Addiction is about genius, it's about so many other themes, and that's why people relate to it. Even though personally I didn't exactly enjoy it that much, but I think it's not the bad. So in this case, if I took this, it take it, it's just sacrificing a bishop for this. So if I take, it can't move here, it kinda has to move here and that's checkmate. So uh if not if he, if he sees that and he doesn't take it, he probably does like something else or something. I just it's basically just delaying its death because I'll just take the rook and then in the next turn it's checkmate okay so I just want to check here and remove the defender there you go Oh my goodness guys, the remove the defender thing. See, okay, this is why I this is why I think playing puzzles are better than just playing games against over again. I've been playing a lot of games, I haven't been improving. But I think like from here I can see the patterns a bit better already. So it's like okay, this queen is attacking, nothing is a, nothing I can't take it back because of this rook. Uh this knight. So I take it, force the check, move it away, or and then I'll just take the I'll just take the queen the next way. I mean, to be fair, the next turn I'm losing a bishop, but a knight and a bishop for a bishop and a for a knight and a queen, I think that's the same. Alright, last puzzle guys before we end the stream for today. Let's do the last puzzle. Hopefully it's a good one. I would like to pin this I would like to pin this to set up this move but do I have time to do that because the next move I'm just having this is going to be an attack already and if I set up I can't set it up here because you just take it back so it's the only thing I can do a check or do I just take it? If I take it moves down. I take it with my queen. I think that's the best move actually. Oh it's not. Hmm. I mean, I can trade an extra knight for a bishop, but like, I don't see what's the point of that. 
is there a better way to do this? If I do this, it's just gonna take. There's no other way. Of, there's there's no. Let me just take it. Oh, it just wants me to take, and then it wants me to do this. I guess. Okay, so I I I essentially didn't want to trade. Christopher Lim, whoa, whoa, so good, sir. Hi. Sigh. <laughs> I essentially didn't want to trade so if I do this I mean you can just take it and oh maybe that's why maybe the best is just to do this first make them make them either move or so if I if I do this and it doesn't take it moves instead this is gone so I get from for one knight I get two bishops so it won't let that happen you move here then I'll take this knight it takes and we'll trade um, we'll trade bishops and knights Okay, I think with that, let's end it for today. It's getting a little late. I have a very, uh, uh, I have a very uh, early day for tomorrow. I have a show at 7 a.m. So I'm going to have to wake up very early tomorrow. So hopefully uh, you guys have a great new year. Uh, we have tomorrow is a long weekend ahead. So hopefully you guys have nice things planned. Hopefully you guys are great. Uh, yeah and hopefully you guys have a great 2021 see you guys next time will i stream tomorrow i have no idea whether i'll stream tomorrow uh because i have a shoot from i, I basically have a shoot from 7 to 6 30 so technically after 6 30 i can but i don't know whether i'll be tired so i'll probably won't stream let's let's not hold or hope for that but eventually i'll stream more over the next week maybe monday uh maybe even tuesday and so on and so forth until the tournament so next the tournament is on saturday so do join me on saturday so thank you so much uh Gerald says yeah if you don't trade first you won't win material but if you trade first you are up a piece yeah i i i think i need to improve in trying to calculate that a little bit faster i mean uh it's i i i think but i think generally i've been getting a little bit better in trying to see the patterns but I guess if you trade first yeah you won't if you, if you just do straight up you won't win material because the next time the pawn is going to take the, the knight and you don't get to win back a bishop so yeah thank you guys so much uh nice stream thank you Gerald. appreciate it hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about chess for the people who have never played chess before in your life hopefully you guys got your brains turning a little bit uh hopefully the people who know chess enjoyed this i know it's probably a bit frustrating to see me like draw arrows at things that are not correct so thank you guys so much for joining and see you guys soon. Should I change? I'll change the screen to waiting screen, but actually it's not waiting. Uh, I'll just, it's just so that the end actually ends. So uh, thank you guys so much. Have a great night and happy new year. Stay out of pain But with you everything has changed